Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna test the changes from Rai on why she is starting to become dominant in Arena. Because to be honest, she is very good PvP unit now. So let's begin. First, let's start with her skill. It targets the opponent who has the lowest max HP and deals damage per bullet. The bullets on her ultimate will target the next opponent if it kills the target. So, do take note that her ultimate targets the max HP, not the opponent's current HP. So, for example, Herb has a 1,853 HP and Licorice has a 25,000 HP. Rai will target Licorice because her max HP is 25,000 while Herb has a max HP of 34,000. So do take note that whatever the current HP of your opponent will not affect what Rai will target. So it will always target in order for, from whichever who has the lowest max HP. To explain further on how Rai will target her ultimate, let us look on this PvP match where Herb is already down at 20% HP while Licorice is still almost full health but Rai targets her ultimate to Licorice because as we all know, Licorice has smaller max HP than Herb. So now we're gonna proceed on what Deb Sisters buff on Rai. As we all know, Licorice counters Rai because of the summon units but after the balance patch, Rai's ultimate will no longer target any summon units on PvP. This means that Rai will now counter Licorice because of Licorice's low max HP. So Rai will always prioritize on the mid lane units or the back lane units, whichever who has the lowest max HP. This means that Rai will prioritize on targeting most likely the DPS because they have the lowest max HP and most likely Tiger Lily, Espresso, Licorice, Latte, and Vampire. But do take note that level difference also make, makes things different which means that if they have a level 50 Espresso while they have a level 40 vampire most likely vampire will be targeted by rai because they have a different max hp so to conclude rai is a very good pvp unit now because of her ultimate will most likely target the mid lane and back lane unit do remember that in my opinion it's best to put full attack on her without any cooldown because at most you ma you will like to make Rai to ultimate last because there will be no spillover on her ultimate because whenever she kills the opponent on her ultimate it will target the next one so you must maximize the AOE first and then let Rai to do her ultimate last so she is in my opinion the best finisher on the game so it will most likely clean up all the units the low hp units on pvp and also rai has a huge hp pool so she will survive most likely the first wave or the second wave and she is all right to to skill last even though the opponent will will ramp up all the dps on her and she will most likely survive so there you have it i hope you like the video thank you for watching and see you on the next video bye bye